Star Wars Geek Girls They're geek girls that like Star Wars And sometimes cry <laughs> Click Alright, so, hello, uh, I'm Zoe, welcome to Star Wars Geek Girl, I'm here with Lizzie Hi That was like a hey and a hi together Hi, hi. Um, <laughs> I said something really... I don't remember what I said. Oh, so my friend, uh, I did something like I won a game against my friend. I did something like that. And I was, uh, I said, um, I said something. Oh, so I was going to say, uh, fight me. But then halfway through saying fight me, I was like, no, let's say suck it. So I wound up saying fight it. And she just looked at me and she's like, fight what? And I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Good job, Zoe. Oh, okay. Just... We're starting. Starting. So, uh, we're kind of recording this the day after we recorded last week's episode, because Lizzie's leaving. She's leaving me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so there isn't really any new news. New news. New news? New news. Except that uh, Rogue One won. Rogue One won. Rogue One won two Saturn Awards for... Well, Gareth Edwards won for Best Director, and then it won for Best Sci-Fi Fantasy Adventure Action Thing Film. So, that's great and all, but the real one that I'm excited about is that Rebels won for the best animated series. So, that's the best one. <laughs> um, that's cool. Makes sense. Yeah, it's the best. Before we start, I sent a picture to my uh, friend Cameron, and he, uh, it was a picture of uh, Rex and Sabine. Oh, this. Uh, <laughs> And so that he was like, oh, that's cool. How did Rex survive Order 66? I uh, asked so I was like, well, did you did you watch Clone Wars? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. Um, well, I'll explain it to you. It's kind of long, but you still want me to tell you. And he's like, yeah, sure. I've been curious. So I sent him this enormous text. I want to read it. Can I read it, Zoe? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's very long. <laughs> Okay, so basically in one episode, actually a few, a clone went crazy and killed the Jedi, saying, good soldier, follow orders, such. And so they kept him locked up, and they went to Kamino, where the clones are built, and ran tests on them. The clone's best friend, Fives, found out that the Kamino winds found a chip in his friend's head that was damaged, and so that the and so the Kamino winds tried to hide it because they had planted chips in every clone's head, so that it triggered the Order 66 for them to turn against the Jedi. Pause. So Fives, Hold on. What? Do you say it Kaminoans? Wait, how do you say it? Kaminoans. I say Kaminoans. <laughs> <laughs> Kaminoans. I say Kaminoans. Sounds like a chameleon. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, so Fives try to find proof because everyone thought he was crazy and his friend with the damaged chip was killed by the Kaminoans and so he contains the chip in his friend's head and removes his own chip and runs for it. But Palpatine tries to kill him because the Kaminoans were working with the Separatists. Nobody believes Fives and thought he tried to kill the Palpatine. Kill, kill Palpatine, not the... <laughs> the Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> he runs... <laughs> He runs for it again and makes people follow him, only Anakin and Rex. So he- oh, spoilers, by the way. If someone hasn't seen Clone Wars at this point, then what are they doing? <laughs> Honestly. Um, and makes people follow him, only Anakin and Rex, so he can privately tell them. But he gets shot, and then he whispers it to Rex, and so we figured that Rex listens slash believes him, and removes his own chip, and so he isn't in control of Order 66. Oh, I that. Order 66 thus leading his presence to the Rebel Show and his fellow colleagues, friends. You just sent, like, you sent the screenshots to me out of nowhere, and I was like, 
uh, thank you for the explanation, but yes. I, I already knew. I was very <laughs> confused. I was like, is, what? What? Uh-oh. What are you trying to say here, Lizzie? Uh, long live fives. Long live fives. Forever in our hearts. Yes. In our heads. Like a chip. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> start the quiz. Quiz? Oh, Lizzie sent me a quiz, so I'm gonna, gonna do so it. So it's like if, out of 100. If this doesn't have, like, if this is any old EU questions, I'm not gonna get them right. I'm just saying that right now. Me, me too. This is the actor inside of c 3 Anthony Daniels. I knew him. Yeah. Oh. Correct. Okay. Uh. It's like an Ewok, but it's <laughs> Ewok. Uncle Dennis Lawson uh, playing original Star Wars. Was that Wedge? Are we sharing answers? I don't know. Yeah, let's just. Okay, let's Wedge. Wedge? Yeah. Correct. Oh, it's Princess Leia's last name. Fisher. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Morgana. Morgana. <laughs> I thought they were It's a trap. Like... Who, uh, yeah, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi totally said it's a trap. These are easy, let's see. You know what? <laughs> Hold up. How do you... Are you on five? I'm on five. Uh, I'm on six. Oh, he skipped one. Who was the actor inside R2D2? Oh, I knew that one. Yeah. There isn't an actor in inside R2D2. Okay. okay. No advertisement. Go away. Name this vehicle. It's no an Atta. What? Advertisement is still here. Then click skip. Oh. That is an ATST walker. When, oh. film, oh, when filming The Empire Strikes Back, which actor wasn't sure if he or she wanted to return to the third movie? Han Solo, right? Yeah. There's four. Ooh. I don't know, nine. Nine? What George... Oh, God. What George Lucas demand... What George... Is that accurate? Space. What did George Lucas demand? What? What Wait. What did George Lucas demand? What What George Lucas... Okay, this isn't grammatically correct. <laughs> But what did George Lucas ask Mel Brooks to do when they made Spaceballs? Uh... uh okay, so uh, the answers are... He agreed not to make any Spaceball toys. I don't think that's he it. I'm to pretty sure I've seen Spaceballs toys. Reading them out! I know, I'm just saying. Disgusting. He agreed to give George Lucas a cameo. He agreed to edit out a subplot where Princess Vespa has an ongoing affair with her brother. He agreed to roast Steven Spielberg, Spielberg at a charity diner. Um, I don't think it's the first two. I don't remember a George Lucas cameo, and I don't. And I'm pretty sure I've seen Spaceballs toys, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I'm gonna go with the third one. Third one? Wrong. Wrong. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna hit that one. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna say roasting Spielberg. Wrong. He didn't want to make Spaceballs toys. Oh. The first Jedi. That was, the, that was, was the first Jedi to learn how to return from death as a Force ghost? I got it. Qui-Gon? Is yeah. it Qui-Gon? Yeah. Yeah. Sebulba. Name this... Yep. Uh, who was... Only non Jedi such Sith character to use a lightsaber in the original trilogy. Han trilogy. Solo. Mm. Um, I'm free. Are you on 13 yet? I got it wrong. I, no. Um, you got I'm it wrong? wrong? Wait, the one about the lightsaber? Yeah. It's Han, because he cut open the Wamba. Oh, yeah. You mean Tauntaun? Or Tauntaun. That's what I meant. What Japanese filmmaker did George Lucas famously borrow from while making the first three Star Wars movies? I think it was Akira Kurosawa. I think so too. Click. Yay! Miyazaki is. Who killed 
Janko Fett. Yeah, Boba Fett did it. Yep. <laughs> totally. That's what Whoops, happened. I got it wrong on accident. <laughs> Ignite the green. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Someone. Skywalker's lightsaber, it was green. What color was it in the first two movies? It was blue. I can't remember the name of the person who did it, but on Twitter today, someone tweeted a picture at Steel, and it was uh, his, you know, Ignite the Green with him, but they made it the Inquisitor saber, so it, like with the double plated. Helicopter lightsaber. Steel was not happy. What was the original name of Return oh, of the Jedi? Oh, I know this one. We should probably read them, read the answers out loud so that oh. people are listening. Yeah. All right. I'm on 17. I'm on 17. Who was the only actor ever nominated for an Oscar for his slash her work on one of the Star Wars movies? Peter, Peter Cushing. King. Go ahead. Peter Cushing, Harrison Ford, Ewan McGregor, or Alec Guinness? I think it was Alec Guinness. You click it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna tell you which way to wrong though. <laughs> wow. I don't know, though. No, it was right. Oh, I got it. was Alec It was Alec Guinness. Yes. Okay, I'll say the question, you say the answers. Sounds like a plan. What actor physically played Darth Maul? Peter... S- Peter... Sarah Fonotwicks? I don't know. Um, Viggo Mortensen, Ray Parker Jr., and Ray Park. I know this one. I met him. Oh, nice. I got it. I just guessed. It was Ray Park. <laughs> what does the tie and turbo induction and and cap? Oh. Sorry. What does the tie and tie fighter stand for? Turbo induction and capulator. <laughs> Twin ion engine. Techno incantho and vulcanator. And thermal inverse engine. <laughs> oh my. I don't even know. Breaking my heart, Lizzie. Yeah. I got it right. <laughs> Twin iron uh, ion engine. Who yeah. voiced Georgia Binks? Seth Green, Michael Winslow, Ahmed Best, and Tom Kenny. I remember this because of the full Seth Charger episode. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wrong. Ahmed Best. I knew it. Yeah. What diminutive actor got his start playing the Ewok Wicket in Return of the Jedi. Ooh. Ooh. Deep Ooh. Roy, Tony Cox, Val Kilmer, and Warwick Davis. Such a hard uh, one. Didn't I meet Warwick? I, I mean, I saw him. Mm. Yeah, I did, right? I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyway, don't yeah. yes, me. I yes, I did. Okay. He was on a little segue thingy. It was adorable. Anyway, name the spacecraft that is a Naboo starfighter. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the answers because cause you just said it. So. Oops. <laughs> but it is. It is indeed. So, uh, who said it? From here, you will witness the final destruction of the Alliance and the end of your insignificant rebellion. Well, that's easy. It's Tarkin. It's Ar- the answers are Tarkin, the Emperor, Admiral Piet, or Darth Vader. And Moth Tarkin. Wrong! What? An- Emperor. Oh. I knew it! I was like, sing- Well, then why, <laughs> why didn't you say it? Well, because, like, I was trying to act out, um, like, in my head, the voices, and then. And then I thought, Tarkin. <laughs> it sounds like a Tarkin line. But it also sounds like Palpatine line. Well, yeah, it's because it was Padme a Palpatine line. When she was elected to the position of Queen of Naboo. I 20, know this. 22, 14, 106, or 8. <laughs> she I'm was... going to say 14, because I know that's right. Yeah. Advertisement. <laughs> Alright, 25 out of 100. <laughs> huh? We're on 25 out of 100. Name this planet. I I don't like... And it's the picture of the arena from episode 2. There we go. I was like, how are we gonna... Okay. Um, and the answers are Clendathu? 
Endor, Geonosis, or Utapa, and it's Geonosis. You say Utapa? How do you say it? Utapa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I in um the 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 the, the, the thingies. With Anakin and Obi Wan and Clone Wars and stuff, but it wasn't finished. You know that thingy. I thought they said Utapa. I say me and my dad. My dad and I say Utapa. Cause uh. you know, cause like A U like caught so, all, Utapa. I don't know. Yeah. Name the spacecraft. And it's and a triangle, Imperial ship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. With the answer, Re- Republic Assault Ship, Mon Calamari Cruiser, Star Destroyer, or the Death Star. I think it's the Death Star. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, we're the two opposing organizations in Clone Wars. This is so easy. Um, the Galactic Republic and the Separatist Alliance, the Rebel Alliance and the Galactic Empire, the Jedi and the Sith, the Gungan Grand Army, and the Tusken Raiders. I think it's the last one. Clearly. Me too. Because they were totally, like, on the same planet, you know? <laughs> Name this planet. It's very swamp-like. There's a... A hut. Tiny house. Alright, Dagobah, Endor, Corellia, or Vega. Vega. Vegan. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's Dagobah. When Luke, Leia, and Han Solo are stuck in the trash compactor, what else is in there with them? And the answers are Gundark, Dianoga, Anuba, or Wampa. Would have been cool if it was Dianoga. Anuba. I think it's a Wampa. Oh. Okay, I, I thought it was Dianoga. Name this. Oh. Um. It's a. Uh, I think it's a Mon Calamari cruiser. Maybe? No, no, no. I mean, it's not a Star Destroyer or a Republic Assault ship. And I don't think it's a Starfighter. So I'm going to say yeah, Mon Calamari Mon- cruiser. Yep. Correct. We did it. Another ad. They have a bunch of windows in there. Yeah, anyway. Uh, what is this? What special concession did George Lucas make to Samuel L. Jackson when he joined the Star Wars prequels? Uh, Lucas cast Jackson's nephew as a youngling. Lucas let Jackson help design his own action figure. Lucas gave Jackson the only curse word in the series. And Lucas gave Jackson a purple lightsaber. It's the purple lightsaber. Yay. What did Luke Skywalker... Oh, what's What? What did Luke Skywalker's uncle, Owen, operate on Tatooine? A droid repair service, a speeder repair garage, a cantina, or a moisture farm? Moisture farm. Which of these was not one of Darth Sidious's uh, Sith apprentices? Darth Vader, there's something in my eye. Darth Vader, Darth Tyrannus, Darth Maul, or General Grievous? General Grievous, right? Well, he's not even... Yeah. He's not even a Sith. He's just a robot. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a cyborg. What were Anakin Skywalker's last words in The Return of the Jedi? Oh. I, I know. It's... Uh, you were right about me. Tell your sister you were right. I'm sorry. May the Force be with you. You were the last of the Jedi. The Force runs strong and you. Pass on what you've learned. It's the... Uh, you were right. Right? Right. Right. Lots of rights. Who said it? I'm out of it for a little while. Everyone gets delusions of grandeur? I don't know who oh, says that. Oh, that doesn't sound familiar. Uh. Um. It sounds like a prequel line. It's either C3PO, Obi Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, oh, Anakin Skywalker. Oh, that was my job, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> yes, I said we. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it sounds like a prequel line. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's Han. I'm just gonna choose. Okay, I got it wrong. You got it wrong. Who'd you pick? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to <laughs> say 
Uh. Eh? Uh. Just Eh, uh, uh, kid. I don't know. Anakin. Wrong. It was Han. Okay. Yep. What game do Chewbacca and R2-D2 play in A New Hope? Jugger, Cheops, Tridimensional Chess, or Dejark? I think the answer is obvious. I got it wrong. What'd you pick? <laughs> I accidentally picked the... Um, but it was, an ac- it was an accident. Yes. Okay, that's all that matters to me. What happened to Luke Skywalker's right hand after Darth Vader cut it off with a lightsaber? It fell. It presumably fell into Bespin's orbit and was never seen again. Luke abandoned it in the carbon freezing chamber while fighting Vader. Luke's friends mm. aboard the Millennium Falcon were able to cut it. Ew. No. We're, just like, we're like, alright, we gotta wait for Luke to cut. What? It's like a hand just falls. Like, oh no. no. Or Darth Vader kept it. So uh, I think we you know. That's a crawl. <laughs> Name. Oh, that's yours. I'm taking Name it. this creature. And it's an elephant, but it was played by an elephant. But it's not it's an elephant. A, it's furry. And has horns. The ants are Nexu, Bantha, Jawa, or Dubac. Yes, uh, My little Bantha. Uh, I fi- uh, who said it? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Do I need to read the answers? (laughs) The answers are Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, the Emperor, Qui-Gon, Jinn. Huh, this is a really hard one. Uh Uh-huh. When Anakin Skywalker finally became Darth Vader in Episode 3, what actor was in the suit? David Prowse, James Earl Jones, Hayden Christensen, or Peter Mayhew. It was still Hayden Christensen, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he was still in the suit. I think I always got those mixed up. Correct. Alright. I hear Bingo. He's trying to come in. Who's foul stench, air quotes, did Leia say she recognized on the Death Star? Vader, the Emperor, the Dianoga, or Grand Moff Tarkin? Uh, I think it was Tarkin. She was mostly talking to Tarkin in that scene, wasn't it? No, maybe. Well... I recognize your foul sense the moment I got aboard. Grandma Stark and I knew you would be something leash. Well, she saw Vader first in the hallway, and that's when she said the foul stench line, because then he brought her to the room where they blew the thing up, and that's when she saw Tarkin. And said about yeah, him. I'm going to go with Tarkin. I'm going to go with Vader. Okay, we'll see. You were right. Yay! I'm sad, Zoe. Oh no. What was the concept artist who worked with George Lucas to create the look and feel of Star Wars? Frank Frazetta, Ralph McQuarrie, H.R. Guy- Geiger? I don't know. And Rick Baker. Here's this Ralph is easy. McQuarrie. Yeah, it's McQuarrie. Because they named the ship designer after him in Rebels. Quarry. Hmm. The B Wing. Okay. Name this vehicle <laughs> ATSC Walker Add Out. Or, it's an ATAT now, isn't it? It's an Adat in my heart. Adat Walker, Dog Walker, or Attack Walker? I think it's a Dog Walker. Me too. (laughs) Who played Count Dooku? Max von Sydow, Christopher Lee, George George Lucas, or Ian McDermott. I actually don't know this. You don't? No. Oh, well I'm not telling you the answer then. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Christopher Lee. Good job. Name this character. This. So it's monkey. Rat monkey. Rat monkey. His, his name should have been Rat Monkey. You know, that's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> he looks like a rat monkey with like a bird beak. And <laughs> name this creature. Rat monkey. It's- Bib Fortuna, Bosk, or Salacious B. Crumb. Salacious Crumb. Name this creature. It is white, fluffy, and bloody. Tauntaun, Womp Rat, Wampa, or Gundark. You know, one time we made a cake with a bunch of jelly rolls, and we put them together like an arm, 
and then like mash a bunch up on one end for blood and then put coconut shavings all over it and then put little chocolate claws and it was a wamba arm cake <laughs> it was pretty great good against remotes is one thing good against living that's something else who said it that was all right it says mace windu quagun jane han solo or anakin it was han Yay. Name this character. Oh, that's your job. I'm sorry. It's okay. C21 High Singer, C3PO, IG88, or Toto360. Oh, Toto! Who's Toto? Cad Bane's Roy that blew himself up in the first episode he was in. He didn't technically blow himself Cad- up. Alright, Cad Bane blew him up. It's the same difference. IG88. IG88. It's in Fictia, it's IG88. Skip. Skip. Uh, who adopted Leia at birth? Who's Bibi? <laughs> Bail Antilles and Ona Antilles. Bail what? Organa and Braille Organa. Owen Lars and Baru Lars or Obi Wan Kenobi? It's Bail and Brea. Oh, it's Obi Wan. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is time we demonstrate the full power of the station. Who said it? Grandma of Tarkin, the Emperor, Admiral Akbar, or Darth Vader. It was part. Uh, I don't know. I we're it. fifty out of a hundred, by the way. Huh? We're fifty out of a hundred. We're halfway there. Nice. Uh, yes. Uh. Which bounty hunter did Han Solo kill in episode? Wait, you, wait, wait, wait! I didn't answer fifty yet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. Tarkin. Yay. Which bounty hunter did Han Solo kill in A New Hope? Bosk, Nian... How do you... Nian Nud? How do you say that? Does anyone Nian know how Nub? to say that? Nian Nub? I don't know. It always sounds weird. Uh, Greedo and Boba Fett. It was Greedo. Boba Fett. Name this character. Lobot, Kit Fisto, Kiati Mundi, or Newt Gunray. New gun ray. New gun ray. It's a Nemoidian. Name this planet. Describe it, Lizzie. Um, tall buildings, elegant looking, but then it looks trash once you get there. <laughs> uh, it's oh. the answers are Bestin, Trantor, Coruscant, or Geonosis. Coruscant. Coruscant. Yes. Name the alien race pictured here that incubated the clones used in the clone army and try to get every one of them <laughs> chips inside of their heads. <laughs> uh, Gungans, Geonosians, Wookiees, Kamen Owens, or Kamen Owens. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what did I do? No, I accidentally clicked on something! What have you done? Oh no! Did it restart you? Yeah! You were the worst. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Just... Oh, man. Should I wait for you to catch oh. up? They're different questions each time. Are what? they? Yeah. It's alright, you, you, you read them. Okay, I keep going? Alright. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Who said it? I know. Java, Darth Vader, Tarkin, or Lando? It was Vader. Vader. Yeah, you sound very excited. 56. Jabba's put a price on your head so large every bounty hunter in the galaxy will be looking for you. It's Luke, Boba, (laughs) Greedo, or Lando. It's Greedo. Greedo. I like the laugh he does. (laughs) (laughs) In the Star Wars movies, who is Anakin Skywalker's father? Palpatine, Cade Skywalker, Owen Lars, or he didn't have one? Wait, what? Read it again? In the Star Wars movies, who is Anakin Skywalker's father? Palpatine, Cade Skywalker, Owen Lars, or he didn't have one? He didn't. He didn't have what? one? No, he didn't. One time someone was asking me questions, they were like, oh, well... Who's Darth Vader's dad? And I was like, he didn't have one. He's like, oh, so you don't know everything about Star Wars. I'm like, and A, I never claimed that. B, he literally did not have one. 
What's Chewbacca's home planet? Bespin, Kashyyyk, oh. Endor, or Mustafar? Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. Um, the bounty hunter. This bounty hunter is my kind of scum. Fearless and inventive. Who said it? Greedo, Vader, Han, or Jabba? Sounds Jabba. Like, yeah, something from Jabba would say. Was it right? Yeah. Name this spacecraft. Oh, it's, uh, it's yellow. Uh, okay. Original trilogy. Uh, it's like, it's like, pew pew. Uh, <laughs> is, it's, uh, has, is. You got this, Zoe. I don't want to say what it's shaped like, because that gives it away. Okay. Um. <laughs> the answers are X-Wing, answer? Y-Wing, Slave 1, or Imperial oh. Shuttle. Then it's a Y-Wing. Yes. Um, add. Name this spacecraft. It is shiny and parked on Tatooine. The answers are Tantive 4, Naboo Royal Starship, Jedi Starship, or Blockade Runner. Naboo Royal Starship? Yep. Uh, name this character. It's dude with stuff on his head. His ears. Like... Fancy headphones. And the answers are Sebulba, Lando, Lobot, or Gorindon. Describe him again. He's a, he's a dude. He's bald. Has the stuff on his head. Like It's like headphones, but they're like back. And it's like metal. And there's little red lights on it. Uh, I don't know. On Bespin. <laughs> on Bespin... I don't... I don't know. It's Lobot. Oh, yeah. They don't look like headphones. I mean, I said headphones like back. It's like, I don't know, they're over here. Oh. Okay. No. Like a million O's. Who said it? Han, the Emperor, yes. Vader, or Leia? Uh, Darth Vader. Yeah. Who cut off... And who, who cut off half of Anakin Skywalker's right arm with a lightsaber? Maul, Obi-Wan, Count Dooku, or Grievous? Technically two answers fit here, I think. Right? Maybe. I want to say Obi-Wan. I think it, they want Dooku, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the answer they want. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure... Did Obi-Wan, because he cut off two legs... Did he only cut off one arm? Or did he cut off two? I mean, Count Dooku was right, but... I gotta look it up now. What limbs did Obi-Wan... I'm sorry if you can hear the keyboard. Did Obi-Wan cut off? Every limb lost in Star Wars films. Thank you, StarWars.com writers, for... Writing me this useful article. <laughs> do 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 Okay. Anakin Next. loses two legs. Or no. Where wait, where am I? Alright. Obi Wan cut off the left arm in his legs. Not the right. So Obi Wan would not have been right. Okay. Cloud that's critical. What line have Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, C-3PO, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and Princess Leia all said at some point? It's a trap. I'm slash we're here to rescue you. Let the Wookiee win or I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Name this spacecraft. And it's, ooh, it's a picture from Clone Wars. Uh, it's, uh, I have to describe it. It's, like... <laughs> it uh, it looks like it's from you... Clone Wars. Yeah, it's a picture from Clone okay, Wars. What are the answers? Slave One, Tantive Four, Sith Infiltrator, or Radiant Seven. And all right, I'm. Just... It it kind of looks like if you took a battle droid head, stuck two little things out the side of its ears, ears, air quotes, and then put it on a, like a plaque. 
if that makes any sense at all. What's the answer? Slave one. Oh. And <laughs> you said the, um, Boba Fett and Jango Fett? Yeah, I guess I could have said that. But. Who played Darth Vader on the set of the movie? David Prowse, Peter Mayhew, Anthony Daniels, or James Earl Jones? James? No, he was a voice. Yeah, he was a voice. I don't know. It was David Prowse. Whose DNA was used in the creation of the clone army? Count Dooku, Boba Fett, Anakin Skywalker, or Jango Fett? Whose what? Whose DNA? What? was used in the creation of the clone army Count Dooku, Boba Fett, Anakin Skywalker or Jango Fett what? Jango Fett Jango Fett uh where did Darth Vader reveal himself to be Luke's father? Dagobah, the Death Star, Endor or Cloud City Cloud Cloud City what microorganisms are said to be conductors of the force? force ghosts Clo- chlorimidin? Chlor- chlorimidians? Mitochondria? And mitochlorins. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And mitochlorins are the powerhouse of the force. <laughs> I know. I always had trouble. <laughs> I like you just remember it like that. I'm helping you. <laughs> it's educational. Star Wars Geek Girls educa- educational. Okay. Stamp cool. on it. Teacher approved. Okay. How did George Lucas first meet Harrison Ford? Harrison drove George home after drinking too much. Oh. Harrison was Carrie Fisher's real life boyfriend. George cast Harrison in American Graffiti and George hired Harrison to build cabinets. Was it Harrison Ford? I thought he was like a janitor or something. No, not a janitor. He was called in. He was in a carpenter. Carpenter. He was called in to read the lines, but he did it so well, so they just cast him. Yeah, but they knew him. Lucas knew him before that. Yeah, he did another movie, right? Yeah, American so, Graffiti. Yeah. But I guess before that, he met him for cabinets, because we got it wrong. Okay. All right, adventure. All right, this is a quote. Who said it? Adventure, excitement, a Jedi craves not these things. Qui Gon, Yoda, Obi Wan, or Luke. Qui Gon. Qui Gon. It was Yoda. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I didn't hear you when you said that. I didn't Yoda say it though. It. That was my fault. What was Did Anakin? Did you say Yoda? No. I didn't. I mean, I thought it, but I didn't say it aloud. Because I thought I was wrong. So. What was Anakin Skywalker's mom's name? Shmi, Lakshmi, Baru, or Smi? Shmi. Shmi. Alright, another who said it. Moss Eisley Spaceport, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Qui-Gon, oh. Han, Anakin, or Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Alright, 75. We're three quarters of the way there. What fatal okay. flaw did the Rebels exploit to destroy the first Death Star? An unstable nuclear reactor core, an unstable hypermatter reactor, incomplete structural support, or an exposed thermal exhaust port? The first one. Okay. Come on, Lucy. Huh. Really? There was a movie about this. I know. <laughs> I'm not clicking anything until you get it. I had a brain fart. Sorry. Well, brain fart's over. What is it? Ooh. You and your cane and ponytail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, read the question again. What fatal flaw did the rebels exploit to destroy the first Death Star? <laughs> Go ahead, what are the answers? 
an unstable nuclear reactor core, an unstable hypermatter reactor, incomplete structural support, or an exposed thermal exhaust port. Isn't it the first one? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Lucy. Thank you. I I can't hear anything. <laughs> And when I fell down just now, I hit my my neck. Um, Good. Whatever that is. Good job. Yeah. What's the answer? Uh, read it again, Zoe. Oh my God. What? <laughs> <laughs> what fatal flaw did the rebels exploit to destroy the first Death Star? The answers are an unstable nuclear reactor core. An unstable hypermatter reactor, incomplete structural support, or an exposed thermal exhaust port. Exposed thermal exhaust port. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you drive me insane. <laughs> I. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> What famous composer has scored all of the, well, all of them now, all of the Star Wars films so far? John Barry, Hans Zimmer, Danny Elfman, or John Williams? Who's what? Who was the composer for all the Star Wars movies except oh. Rogue One? Because I... John Williams. Yes. Good job. I know. I, I heard <laughs> something else. I didn't hear composer. I'm like, oh, what? What? Name this pilot who survived both Death Star battles and the Battle of Hoth. Porkins? Porkins. Wedge Antilles, Dak, or Big Starklighter? Was it Wedge? Yep. Poor Porkins. Forever in our hearts. Um. Alright, another who said it, and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Leia, Luke, Han, Anakin, or... Han. Han. Mm -hmm. Hamburger. Advertisement. And then, alright, another who said it. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. Obi Wan, Han, Luke, 3PO. C. Fweepio. Good job. <laughs> Name this creature. Oh, uh, Luke's riding on it and there's snow. And it has horns. Tom -tom. Yes. What location stood in for Tatooine in the first 1977 Star Wars movie? Death Valley, the Syrian Desert, the Tunisian Desert, or the desert near Yuma, Arizona? I don't know this. You don't know it? No. It's Tunisian. Okay. What is Count Dooku's Sith name? Darth Tyrannus, Darth Rex, Darth Rex, Darth Sidious, <laughs> and Darth Maul. Tyrannus. Yep. Oh. Alright, who said it? Why you slimy, double crossing, no good swindler, Greedo, Han, Obi Wan, or Lando? And Lando. Lando. I thought because they were like bad mouthing each other. Mm hmm. Because that's what friends do. Yes. Hey, if you combine Han and Lando, who are two smugglers, you get Hondo, who's a pi pirate. It's like a conspiracy. I'm going to stop. Uh, why did Jabba the Hutt send bounty hunters after Han Solo? Because the Emperor promised Jabba a handsome reward. Because Chewie used to be Jabba's slave. Because Han killed Greedo. Or because Han dumped the cargo he was smuggling for Jabba. That one, right? Yeah. Yay. Name this character. How many character. questions do we have? What? How many more questions do we have? Uh, we're an 85 out of 100. Oh. Name okay. this character. Uh, creepy guy. Hangs out with Jabba. I guess he's a Twi'lek. His uh, legs oh. were very long. Uh, yeah. Him. 
cool. Name this planet. It's lava E. Uh, Mustafa. Yeah. Okay. 87 out of 100. Um, name this planet. It's rainy. There's a bunch of circles connected by bridges. It was a very fun map, and they were uh, Battlefront 2. Camino. Yes. I like playing you know Obi Wan. What? It's like actually kind of scary, funny. Um, we would read the Boba Fett. They had like little short Boba Fett um, uh, books, and we would read them before bed. And they would say how Boba Fett, I think, wanted to free like the pets instead of feeding them to this giant monster thing. Hmm. Um, I don't remember it very well. <laughs> Um, so he throws it, so he throws them in the, in like, in the water, but he never really sees them ever again, and when he throws them in, like, black substance comes up in the water, oh. or something like that. It was really weird, and I oh. was like, oh. Oh no. I'm right. I remember I always loved the Camino map in Battlefront 2, because like... You know, in the game, when you're, like, a clone or a droid, you can die, and it's, like, not a problem. But when you're, like, Obi-Wan or something, when you die, you just kneel down, because they don't want to, like, kill Obi-Wan, so he kneels down, it's like, Obi-Wan has been defeated, or whatever. But I always thought it was really funny, because I would jump off the platforms when I was Obi-Wan, and he would just kneel like he was, like, standing on the water. I thought it was funny. Okay, next question. Who was the puppeteer that voiced Yoda? Uh, Jim Henson, Stuart Freeborn, Tim Rose, or Frank Oz? What was that? <laughs> I was sending you a picture oh, okay. of fives. Who voiced Yoda? Jim Henson, Stuart Freeborn, Jim Rose, or Frank Oz? Frank Oz? Yep. I sent you a picture of fives, I trying see. to give you a high five. Uh, that's funny. Um, another who said it. I'm rather embarrassed, General Solo, but it appears that you are to be the main course at a banquet in my honor. Uh, Lando, 3PO, Jabba, or Vader? Lando? And, you know, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think it might, it Wait. might be Jabba? That sounds like... But, like, are they... Jabba? Read it again? What's the line I'm again? rather embarrassed, General Solo, but it appears that you are to be the main course at a banquet in my honor. I think it and might have been... Answers? Lando, 3PO, Jabba, or Vader. I mean, mm. I think it's, I think it's probably... Vader. Yeah, Vader, because cause there was a dinner, and he pulled the gun, so maybe he said it then. Oh, I don't remember. I don't... Okay. But Vader. It was 3PO. What? The Ewoks! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Okay. What's the name? Woo! Oh! You better remember this. We talked about this yesterday. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. Maybe last week. I don't know. What's the name of the very famous sound effect that can be heard in every Star Wars movie? Castle Thunder, the Tarzan Call, the Wilhelm Scream, or Laser Blast? Oh, the something scream. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It just blurs together. Um, who plays Chewbacca? Kenny Break. I just that was a loud clap. Kenny Baker, David Prowse, Peter Mayhew, or Rick Baker? Peter Mayhew. All right, next one. Still loading. Okay, name this character. Uh, it's a jerk face. Um, he is on the Death Star. He uh, has very well-defined cheekbones, uh, a receding Tarkin. hairline. Yeah, Tarkin. <laughs> cheekbones. They're very defined. So are Thrones. I guess the Empire just sells good contour. All right. Name this see. creature. Oh, I made a cake of this one too. Uh, there's so a, it's not Wampa. It's not a Wampa. Okay. It's a uh, has a. Mouth, the tongue, and just a bunch of tentacles, and it's in a pit. Sarlacc pit? Yeah. 
That was a good cake. We put a little Boba Fett on it, too. <laughs> no. Which Star Wars so, actor were- oh, we kinda answered this already. Which Star Wars actor worked with George Lucas on American Graffiti before doing Star Wars? Anthony Daniels, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, or Mark Hamill? Harrison Ford. Yeah. Alright, we're on 95 out of 100. Cool. What location stood in for Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back? Glacier National Park in Montana, Malmo, Sweden, Finns, Norway, or Le Trois Valles in France? I don't know this one. Yeah, I don't know it either. Yeah. What are we guessing? Montana, Sweden, Norway, or France? Norway. Norway. Oh, we're right. We got it right. Yeah. I heard of it before. I'm like, oh. What location stood in for the forest moon of Endor? Redwood Forest, Northern California, Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica, Daintree Forest in Australia, or the Black Forest in Germany. The Black Forest. It's an Overwatch oh, map. I don't like it. It's too dark. Oh. Can't see. Too many trees. I was thinking of Suicide Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you just a ball of sunshine? Uh, <laughs> I think it's the Redwood Forest of like someone's asking someone who's listening to Star Wars Geek I'm like, what do you listen to? Star Wars Geek Why do they talk about Suicide Forest? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope it's not the Black Forest, because then I can't hate that map anymore. But, uh, I think it's the Redwood <laughs> Forest. Put Black Forest. Oh, okay. It was the Redwood Forest. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to believe so that way you could not hate it. I don't know it, but... Which of these characters who didn't originally appear in the 1977 Star Wars movie was digitally added in 1997 special edition re-release? Qui-Gon, Jabba, Yoda, or Watto? It's Jabba. It's Jabba. It's Jabba? Yeah. Okay. Your confusion scared me for a minute. Um, who played Lando? Carl Weathers, Eddie Murphy... Eddie Murphy playing Lando would be pretty funny. Billy D. Williams or John Williams? Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Um, name this planet. Uh, Delta Vega, Hoth, Magito, or Mustafar. It's snowy and there's a probe droid. Hoth. Yeah. Um, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper who said it? Should I read the answers? <laughs> Leah. 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 It's not an incorrect, technically, because, I mean, Tarkin said it that way. Final score, 92%. We got an A. Well, that was productive. Uh, what else can we talk about? What's new in your Star Wars world? My Star Wars world? Yes. Mm. Huh. Still coming up with kibble stuff. That's good. Kibbles is good. Kibbles is great. Mm -hmm. Um. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um. What about you? Um. I have glasses. <laughs> I made Sabine pants. Yay. But, like, not costume pants. They're not that useful. They're jeans that are paint splattered and have starbirds on them. Because that's how I spend my time. They're still trying. <coughs> I paid them, like, what is it now? It's been almost seven hours, and they were still tacky when I checked them. But, yeah. It will be, be okay. I'm patting you. Thank you. Don't get fingerprints all over your screen. Too late. Um, and, oh, uh, I gotta print leg flares. For yes. season three. And, uh, what else? Oh, we, uh, we printed Hera's badge. Yay! Season three. So, that's printed. Um... Not much else, just waiting for Forces of Destiny, which we 
after they come out, we won't be able to podcast about for a while because you're leaving me. That's a mean picture. Why would you send that to me? It's not nice. I hate that episode because it makes me cry. I mean, they all make me cry a little bit, but Safi, Lucy's bullying me. <laughs> Safi, no, I'm not. She said she isn't. I'm not. <laughs> she's she's useless. Um, <laughs> I love you, Safi. <laughs> uh, what else can we speak of? In Speck stuff. What? Speak of. Yes. Um. Oh my gosh, when we were getting paint and stuff for my Sabine pants, um, we found a Rebel coloring book, and obviously we had to get it because, you know, I'm a child. Yes. It has stickers! I can't resist stickers! <laughs> but it's from, like, back in season one, where they released a whole bunch of merch for Rebels. So there's like six pages of the Inquisitor, even though he died like immediately. So you're you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh. Well, Lizzie looks bored. I'm not bored. <laughs> well. Okay. Lizzie looks unamused. <laughs> no. No. But I do need to start cooking. Okay, so, I mean, we have almost an hour of show recorded, so I guess we, you know, uh, so I Freddy Prince Jr. enchiladas. That sounds good. Uh, he wasn't at the Saturn Awards. It was kind of sad because there was like Filoni. He was in a suit. Filoni was like in a suit and tie. It was kind of weird. He still had the hat, of course, but he had like a suit and tie. <laughs> And then there was, like, you know, uh, Steve and Taylor and Tia and Vanessa were all there. There was a picture of everyone. They were like, oh, no, Freddy. Kanan. Where is Kanan? Kanan's at home cooking. Yeah. This is Sam. Molly. But, uh, yeah, so thank you for listening to Star Wars Geek Girl. I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Bye. Click Star Wars Geek Girls. They're geek girls that like Star Wars. And sometimes cry.